Hey, this is Mike. Before I get started, please subscribe to my channel right now if you haven't already. Uh, I am dedicated to providing non-stop information on a variety of different brands of vehicles. So you can check back daily for daily uploads. But go ahead and subscribe. I know you won't be disappointed. So I am here at East Coast Honda and I'm checking out a 2015 Honda Odyssey EXL. And this one is in diamond white. So let's take a look at it. Now did you know this vehicle has a side mirror that has a little distortion on the corner of it? Uh, do you know what that distortion's for? Do you know that this vehicle has a blind spot camera? Did you know that this vehicle has lines on the backup camera? Do you know what those lines are for? Well, all those things you're gonna find out in this video. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. It is sitting on 17 inch alloy wheels and they are a pretty pretty impressive looking wheel. It has the combination of silver paint and the alloy showing through. And then you have the four wheel disc brakes with the smooth running 3.5 liter V6. That will change from a Four, down to a four cylinder or a three cylinder it has the uh, multi displacement system to where it doesn't always have to run on all six cylinders depending on how much power you need all right so let's take a look here in the front it does have the projector headlights and the projector headlights are powered by halogen bulbs and that's for the low beams and then the high beams are halogen reflectors so it's a combination of projectors and reflectors. The projector bulbs are a focused beam. Uh, it basically has a lens for the light to be more focused and give you a more uh, tighter pattern on the road to where the light isn't just scattered all about. And the reflectors, even though the reflectors do focus the beam a little bit, those are more act like more of like a floodlight. So hopefully I'll be able to do a video on this vehicle uh, one day soon at night time so you can see what it looks like inside and out. All right. So let's go ahead and let me get the key out. And here's the key. It is a proximity key. As long as you have this with you in your pocket or whatever, uh, you can actually walk up to the vehicle, open up the doors. You can also start the vehicle, drive and exit and leave the vehicle and lock the vehicle without actually taking this key out of your pocket. Uh, it is running right now, so I'm going to uh, attempt to demonstrate um, you know, how it works when it's not running. When you walk up to the vehicle, as long as you have that key in your pocket, you just walk up, put your hand right here, and it senses your hand, it senses the key, and it will unlock. So to lock it, you just push this button here. And then that way, you, know, those are, you can lock and unlock the doors without actually taking the key out of your pocket. All right, so let's open up the door. And this one in particular has like a gray, uh, two different shades of gray on the inside. And you see you have lots of uh, pocket space, storage space here in the door. You got a place for a nice big water bottle, which is really good today because it's very hot. And you have this convenient place, which looks like perfect for putting a cell phone right there. Uh, you, you know, because you always have something in your hand or something on you that you want to set down when you get into a vehicle. And this. Um, you know, has the ability to do that. Before you even enter the vehicle, uh, you can empty your pockets or whatever you want to there. So it does have the power adjustments here on the passenger side seat. And you can see the seat is fairly well, good distance off the floor. So you can be more comfortable, your knees won't be up in the air. You have plenty of leg room. And uh, there's the tan leather seats. They have pretty decent bolstering. Very, very comfortable. I mean, it's made for long trips, this vehicle, so uh, it is a, you know, designed for that purpose. So comfort is one of those things that you need on a long trip. Take a look here in the glove compartment. Pretty standard, a little bit larger than standard, but just a regular glove compartment, I guess. You got this little hook here in case you need to hang something. All right, so let's um, move on. So there's a back door, of course I can use the key to open up the side doors and the tailgate, but I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to do it just by pulling the handle there and then you step back and it opens up for you. 
and to close the door there is this handy button right here for the passengers just to push all right so here's the inside of the second row and you see there are there's a seat here they're like bucket seats you have a center seat here which is removable very easily removed and then you have the you know the third seat there so uh, if you wanted to just have the, the pass-through space in the middle, you can take that out completely, that seat. And they do have cup holders for the people back here as well. Now for the third row passengers, you just push this button right here and the seat will kind of go forward and you can step right there on that threshold and enter the third row. And the third row has plenty of space um, it does have the you know plenty of room some of the third row vehicles have a uh, Real low to the floor. This one has a little bit better on that You do have cup holders and pockets there for the third row passengers. They also have climate control vents and lights of their own All right, let's go ahead and close that up. It's real easy to move that that seat by the way all right, so closing this up, before I do that, let me just show you what the inside of the door looks like. You've got your door lock control, power window control, and a bottle holder there. All right, so of course these windows do roll down. I'll show you that in a few minutes. So I can close it by pushing that button or I can just pull the handle like so and it'll close. And you're not tugging on anything on this, especially the tailgate or the doors. You just barely touch them and they just go. So let's go ahead and, well, let's take a kind of zoom out a little bit. You see it has that rear window spoiler to help get a bit better aerodynamics. Then there's your backup camera lens there. So just to the right of that is the button. You just push the button and you kind of get out of the way and it'll open up for you. So now you have a place to put all your stuff, whatever you happen to be, your luggage, your groceries, whatever it happens to be, and it's dished out uh, there so you have an added storage. You also have these shelves here. There's a power supply in that one. All right. So these seats do fold down. You can see by this instructions here that um, you can you know, put these seats completely down by pulling a strap. You pull the strap. It flops down like that and goes right into place. It's really easy. I mean, it's as simple as simple as you can get. So you can also you can lift it right up and put it back in place, all with one pull in one strap. And you also you notice that these seats will recline too, so they can recline a little bit. So isn't that neat? It goes down to a flat floor, so that way you can have uh, double your cargo space basically. All right. So closing this uh, gate, you can just push that button. It beeps at you, letting you know it's coming down, and it'll slowly go down. And then if anything gets in the way, it will stop and go back up. It's not going to crush your grocery shop, shopping cart or anything like that. All right. So let's open up the fuel door. It does have a locking fuel door, which is good. And the little thing for that is here. All right, so this opens up, and uh, this is where you'll find your your fuel cap there. And uh, and and also, you want to make sure that when you take the fuel cap off, it's it's tethered to this little string here. But you just don't want to let it hang; it'll scratch your paint and all that stuff. So you want to go ahead and put it in this little placeholder right here. It has a little place right there to hang the uh, the, the cap. Right, and it is on the driver's side, which is very good. All right, let's take a look under the hood. Hopefully it's 3.5 liters, not covered up with plastic, but I'm, I don't really have my hopes up on this one, so we'll see. So the latch is just here to the, a little bit to the left of the Honda symbol. You just push up on it, and it's covered up with plastic. 3.5 liter I VTEC engine and the VTEC system is not just a name it is a very advanced um, and reliable feature to give you the best 
fuel economy and power at the same time. Actually, you can see a little bit of engine over here. Uh -huh. So I like to see the engine. I like to see metal when I lift the hood, not just a cover with plastic. Anyways, it's a Honda, so you don't have to worry about lifting the hood very often. All right, so let's take a look on the inside. All right, here we are on the inside. And you can see I have plenty of knee room and leg room. Also, you see everything's kind of well placed where you can access stuff. So let's go ahead and start here on the driver's door. You can see it has the same pocket configuration as the other side. It's just mirrored. But it does have the automatic uh, windows there in the front. The rear windows, which I'm going to show you, uh, they roll down to right there. And then you can roll them back up. But you do have to hold them the whole time. Uh, unlike the front where you just push it and it goes right on down. Same thing with going back up. So there's your door locks. You can lock out the rear windows if you want to there. Side mirror controls, uh, you just have to pick a side, left or right, and then you can adjust it here. Once you get adjusted, then you put it in the center to avoid accidentally uh, messing up your adjusted mirrors. Now this side mirror has what looks like a little distortion there on the corner, right here on the edge. You can see um, that is to stretch the light, the stretch bend the light around that corner to give you a better view in your blind spot so that way it's a, it will help you avoid accidents so um, that's why it looks a little distorted just there on the end and you can see um, hopefully you can see a little line here it has a line showing you to the left of that line is where you the distortion starts all right so over here we have like a little change pocket there you can open up the tailgate the lift gate with that Traction control, you can turn it off here if you need to spin tires for whatever reason, but default is always on. Lane departure warning system, uh, you can turn that on and off here. Uh, this will alert you if you're going to, um, if you're moving over lanes without actually turning your turn signal on. So that way it avoids you from like swerving or accidentally uh, just going into another lane there. Um, definitely a good safety feature. You can always open up the side uh, doors here just by pushing these buttons. You can turn them off if you want to. Alright, so let's go ahead and move on to the steering wheel. It does have a perforated leather, combination of perforated leather, leather and regular leather wrapped steering wheel. And it's very high quality feeling, it's comfortable, and has a good thickness. A little bit of bolstering here and here to help give you a little bit of a grip, lateral grip there. So it does have quite a few buttons, so let's go ahead and start here on the right side. Your cruise control settings are here. Um, you just have to make sure it's turned on, and then you can set it, and you can adjust your temp, your speed, and then you can cancel it here. On the left side is your volume button. You can, you know, make the volume go up and down, and uh, you can change through like the station or the channels right here, um, or your CD tracks, that kind of stuff. Plus, you can push this mode button and cycle between AM, FM, satellite radio, different stuff like that. So down here, uh, let's start with these buttons. This is for your Bluetooth phone. Once you, um, once you pair your Bluetooth phone with the system, you can receive calls here, hang up on calls, and make calls. Now this is a voice recognition. Hopefully you can see the little symbols on there. This is a little, it shows a little man with them speaking. So you push that button there and you can not only make calls by saying call so-and-so or whoever happens to be in your phone book but you, you can also say call I mean um, change to a certain station um, things like that so there's other other features that you can use the voice recognition for besides just making phone calls so this button back here cycles through the screen to the phone information or audio so you can just quickly you know cycle through just by pushing that button and let go of it in the, in the uh, menu that you want. And then you can push it and go into that. It does have a little wallpaper uh, that you can put there too. Alright, so I think that's all the buttons on the steering wheel. Your windshield wiper controls are on that side. 
and your headlight controls are on this side. You can see it does have an automatic feature here. And here's your gauges. So right now, um, you can see that it's you know pretty kind of basic, simple, easy to read, well laid out. Uh, you have your speedometer there on the right, your RPMs on the left, your temperature there to the left, and then your gas gauge there to the far right. And this center screen here, it shows you your miles, uh, your odometer. It's 105 degrees outside, and it is definitely true. It's very hot. And then you've got your oral life there, uh, it's showing. But we can just push this button and we can cycle through and change that to just a blank screen there. Uh, also your range and your trip A and trip B. Then it cycles back to the oil life. All right. So this screen up here, like I was showing you, you can cycle through your different information, whether it be phone or audio or uh, information there. Um, and then once you, like, look with your phone, once you pair your Bluetooth phone, you'll have more options to be able to uh, speed dial people, uh, you'll have a call history, that kind of stuff. So here's your climate control. You do have the heated seats here in the front for the driver and passenger there. Um, it is a tri-zone system to where you have a driver and passenger has their own separate uh, temperatures. But also the rear settings, that's the third zone, you can adjust those too. And you can also, um, you can also in the rear, you can also adjust them in the, for the rear passengers can actually adjust their climate control with this little control panel there. All right, so back to here, uh, you do have your fan speed, um, your front defroster, rear defroster, and when you turn on your rear defroster, it will turn on your side heated mirrors as well. You can sync everything to where everything's the same temperature if you want to, just like that. And uh, so, but once you start adjusting the other temperatures, it'll unsync them. All right, so there's your start button here. And to start it, all you have to do is put your foot on the brake and push the button that starts it. Push it again and it turns the engine off. Now this other screen is a touch screen and you can, you know, push your audio source. And there's lots of different ways to play music through the sound system. AM, FM, satellite radio, CD player, which is right up here. And uh, you also have a Bluetooth. Um, you can run an iPod through a Bluetooth system. You have a Bluetooth. Um, I'm sorry, USB. <laughs> made a mistake. USB, USB for your iPod. And then you have the Bluetooth system, which is wirelessly uh, through the, whether it be your phone or any kind of Bluetooth uh, device then you have the Pandora which is something it's an application that's on your phone and you can play music through that it's an internet radio system if you're not familiar with it all right so down here is your controls um, just like I showed you cycling through that uh, screen it has quick access phone information and audio buttons there and then you can go back out at certain screens and um, you also can use this to navigate through different screens have an enter button your menu and then you can go into settings and kind of customize whatever you want all right this is where you'll find uh, one of your blue uh, your USBs here you have a 12 volt power supply you have an auxiliary input here a little uh, audio jack this opens up and you have a kind of tray to put stuff like a junk drawer in a way but also if you need to use it as a cup holder you just pull that out and you can put a cup in there as well but that's just an option and this is pretty cool. It's literally, it's called the cool box. And you can push this button here, and it will allow air conditioning to go into this uh, semi insulated box right here. So you can put, say, uh, cold drinks or a cold baby bottle or things like that to keep it cool. It's not actually going to make something cold. If you put a hot bottle of water in there, it's going to, you know, take forever for it to even get rid of the heat. It's not really designed to that. It's just kind of designed to kind of keep things cool. So just because it's using air conditioning, it's just like an air conditioning vent in there and it kind of concentrates that, that cool air. All right, so we do have some cup holders here and it has these little side things to help um, take out the slack on, on uh, cups when you put them in there. Then you have this big open section here for just throwing anything you want and it's dished in there pretty good so it doesn't slide around and it's not gonna really fall off also in here you have a pretty good size 
uh, storage area and it, this will get pretty cluttered I think because it does go in there pretty far up to the front so it's uh, you can easily lose stuff I think if you keep throwing stuff in there that's what I'm trying to get out all right so let's look up here um, there's the auto dim rearview mirror and it is auto dimming right now because I have the shade uh, covering up the light sensor but this will you know auto dim uh, when appropriate to allow to keep uh, bright lights like people's headlights and stuff from from being a nuisance at nighttime because your eyes are more sensitive and you want to keep your night vision you have some tap lights up here for a quick reading light quick access light and if you want to have the interior lights turn on um, you can just do that all the interior lights you can have it to where only it turns on with the door or you know turn every time the door opens it'll turn on or you can turn it off to where even if the door opens up it will not turn on these buttons are for your garage door control this is a place to put some sunglasses if you lift it up here and drop it like that it turns into a conversation mirror so you can keep an eye on all the backseat drivers and right here is your microphone for your Bluetooth system this right here is for your sunroof so we've got a sunroof and we've got a shade that you can open and close it you can also vent the sunroof or if you want to you can open it all the way up and really get some airflow going. Or if you just want to keep the sun off from getting on you at all, you, have, you can close the shade like that. You do have mirrors and lights in the, the visors in case you want to use those. Of course you do. Let's take a look at the visibility back here. Like I said, that center seat can be removed so you can use that space as a, a walkthrough area. Alright, so here's the shifter. And the shifter, I'm going to go ahead and put it in reverse. Like so, so you can see the backup camera pop up here. And you'll notice it does have some yellow lines there. And you can see the whole thing about that is that it has a wide-angle lens so it distorts the the view behind you a little bit you can see on the corners um, everything's kind of stretched out so your distance is a little bit off uh, with the with that distortion especially there close to the vehicle so you notice it has a checkered line there and that is the absolute closest you want to be to the whatever's behind you um, because at real at real close up, at, at a real close up, um, like right here is only a few inches. Down here is a few feet. So it kind of looks like you got more room when you actually do. So you don't want to like, you want to be very careful when you get too close. All right, so let's go ahead and continue down. It's a six speed automatic transmission. There's dr neutral, there's drive. And drive is basically your normal driving position. It will cycle through the six gears, no problem. And then you've got this low range here if you need to go into, like, say, fifth gear. And then you can actually go into fourth gear here by pushing this button. Alrighty. Now, there's one thing I wanted to mention. Uh, there's a safety feature that is very important. When you put the turn signal on, this... this camera pops up now this is a blind spot camera and the camera lens is actually over there underneath that mirror and it aims right directly in your blind spot so that way and it also has those guidelines there so if there's somebody in that red zone there you know they're right there blind spot you can also in addition to just turning your signal on you can also push this button here on the end of the turn signal just in case you need to just look over there, you can push that button and you're, you're looking over there. So that's a really good safety feature so you don't uh, uh, you know, change lanes without, change lanes and then you know somebody's in your blind spot. All right. 
Okay, so here I am in the back seat, which is very comfortable, by the way. Very, very comfortable seat. And you see this seat's all the way back. And it's even tilted back. I mean, it's a very comfortable position for me. And I'm about six feet tall. And you can see my knees are not even touching the, um, the seat. I've got plenty of room. I can actually put my feet underneath the seat a little bit there. And I'm just as bad as comfortable as the front. So we've got the cup holders there. And, um, and I showed you the climate control is right here then I've had the vents I have some climate control and a tap light which is not turning on right now I guess oh yeah because I probably turned it off um, but also you have these vents here I mean not vent but these shades that roll up so you already have privacy glass but this kind of helps you avoid more sunlight and you have the window controls, so you can roll up and down the window. You've got some storage pockets areas down here, and then a cup holder. All right. Okay. So there you have it. 2015 Honda Odyssey. And uh, if you have any questions, any clarifications, anything like that, let me know. In the comment section, if you have any experience with a vehicle like this, please let us know in the comments what you've experienced, and I'm sure everybody would appreciate it. And thank you for watching. Thank you to East Coast Honda for allowing me to show off this awesome car, and I'll see you guys next time.